Hey guys, Step Games here, and today we're going to be continuing our uh, Free Realm Five Nights at Freddy's tutorial series. Now, um, I'm going to be making cameras. So first of all, I want I'm going to go over here. I'm gonna grab this, hold Control, and grab the space between uh, space for the doors. I'm gonna copy paste this, and move it. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna do it like this, move it like this, I'm gonna scale this down a little bit. I'm going to cut this and paste this. Uh, so Ctrl X plus Ctrl V. And now we have a pretty cool, pretty cool hallway. Nice, so uh, why did I do this? Uh, because we need somewhere we need a place to place the cameras, right? So I made a new room and nice, so now we can basically run around here so uh, I'm gonna save all now I want, we, if we want to make cameras we're gonna look up in uh, modes and place I'm gonna use the camera I'm just gonna drag it into the level I'm gonna right click and pilot. Now I'm going to move this camera exactly where I want the camera to be. So uh, like this, maybe like this. Nice. Uh, so we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna name this cam underscore. I'm gonna call this uh, left hallway. I'm gonna control paste this, so I'm gonna so we have two. I'm gonna do the same in the right hallway. Um, like this. I call this cam right hallway. Again I'm gonna copy paste this. Pilot this. I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna call this room because I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna move it a little bit down. Nice. So we've got our cameras, and now I'm going to make the UI. So we want to go into our custom content and make a new folder called the UI. I've already made this new folder, so I'm not gonna do that again. Uh, so, once we create a folder, we're going to make a new in user interface and we're going to call it UI underscore cameras. So I've already made this one, so I'm not going to do it again. Okay, so you should see this. Now, I'm going to make a new panel, canvas panel. I'm going to drag it into this one. Um, and uh, I'm going to size the content. Now, um, well what you want to do is to make a layout, uh, an image of the level. So, uh, what I want, what I do often, is that I uh, click the button, so I see all the views. I'm going to choose the top one, and I'm just going to. Uh, screenshot this uh, and put it into paint and edit it up and I'm gonna show you what the what it looks like when I'm done okay so I realized we also want to go to the show and disable some things um, I disabled static meshes um, I think we also want to disable some more stuff, so the lights uh, I think it's the point lights <laughs> I don't think this matters but uh, yeah never mind I think we're just we're good with uh, with just this I'm going to uh, hide all of this I'm 
because I don't want it in the final thing, in the final screenshot. So I'm gonna use this. Okay, so I'm back. I re I imported this. I've got it rotated. I'm sorry for that part. Anyway, I am going to make all this visible. I'm going to switch um, to this to perspective. Save all. Uh, now uh, let's go back to our UI cameras and uh, add an image. I'm gonna add it to the canvas panel and the image I'm going to choose is going to be the map we just created so appearance brush I'm gonna just select it and uh, do this I'm just gonna scale uh, the image up Uh, change the position of the canvas panel. Again, scale damage. I uh, don't think it needs to be super, super big. Okay, I'm going to bro. This is weird. Okay, nice. So I'm going to do no. Okay, this is very janky, but um, you'll see it's gonna be worth it. So I'm going to add a button to the canvas panel. Like, and I, I can move it around in the canvas panel. So I'm going to move it um, one right over here, I think. Yeah, one is here. I'm gonna add a text, put it into the button, and I'm gonna change this to cam zero. I'm gonna th this is gonna be two. I'm gonna make the font smaller, and I'm gonna go to the button and make it a little less visible. I'm gonna change this to light. Okay, so I'm going to rename this to this button to cam zero two. Zero two. No block off. I'm going to now. We can just duplicate this. Change this to cam zero one. I'm going to move the button over here. Change the text to zero one. And now we can duplicate it once again. And I'm just going to move it uh, over here. This is going to be cam three. Nice. Um, so now I'm gonna name this uh, Cam Zero uh, Three. Nice. Save this. Okay. So I'm going to events. Wait a minute. I made a mistake. Nice. So I'm going to add events for each of these. I'm gonna go to graph. Use click on cam01, unclicked, unclicked, unclicked. So now I am going to um, save, compile, save, and I am going to make uh, the dispatchers cam01. Open cam one again. I'm going to add another one. Open cam zero two. A new one or oh three. Call.
call call. <clears throat> nice. So now we want to go to our main level. Go to our old blueprints. No. Yes, yes. So over here, we are going to um, get our input, which um, I'm going to go to our project settings input new one and I'm going to call this open and let's do this with um, tab so um, open cams in our level and I'm going to create widgets no I am going to create widget on the on event begin play. I'm not going to add it to viewport. I'm going to just promote it to variable. Wait a minute. So guys, I am very sorry. Anyway, I am back. So I'm going to choose the UI cameras. So this is the variable. I'm gonna say change the variable to cameras UI ref echo reference and over here we can uh, flip flop um, and I'm going to get this add to viewport and to remove from parents like this now if we go to our game yes it works nice so um, I also what I also want to do is um, set uh, no 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 get player controller Set show mouse cursor. So over here, I want to show it. Over here we don't. So uh, over here we want to show it. Over here we don't want to show it. Like this. Okay. But uh, I also want to set input mode. UI only, no, no, not UI only. I'm going to set input mode game and UI uh, like this. In widget focus is going to be our camera's UI ref. Over here, we want to set mode game, say set input mode game only like this. So press tab, we can click, we press tab again, we close our cameras. Uh, it's a bit laggy, I'm going to change that later. So for now we have this. No, no. Um, over here we want to bind Um, bind. Okay, so from this we want to bind event to open cam zero one. Bind event to open cam zero two. And finally, bind event to open cam or create. I'm going to compile. It's going to give us error. So. Over here, I'm going to custom event cam01. I'm going to duplicate this for every single camera. Uh, cam02. Cam02. Compile. I'm going to 02 to 02. 03. 
So I'll check. Compile and save. Now, uh, what we want to do is to find our cameras one by one. So, we go our cam left hallway. I'm going to click on it, go to our main level, right click, create a reference, right hallway, create a reference, and our room also create a reference. So, right over here, I'm going to, again, I'm going to copy get player controller, set view target fit blunt. So, um, what I'm going to do is just do one and I'm going to set this to a variable current or I'm going to say selected can and let's do this for each of these like this and go over here and I'm going to select cam is going to be the new view target so now it should work yes nice so um, I'm going to go to our UI cameras and I'm going to add a new button I'm going to duplicate this this is going to be close I'm not going to okay okay like this I'm going to move it out of the canvas panel and now I want to move it uh, under here I'm going to call it exit uh, so we can exit the cams exit and I'm going to go on click and I'm gonna make a new event dispatcher exit cams I'm gonna call compound safe go to our main level move this up bind event to exit cams um, I'm going to do the same thing no, uh, I'm going to do this exit cams so I'm gonna click this and this is going to be different, so I'm gonna make a new one. Connect the get player controller over here. This is going to be get player contr uh, character. So, like this, it's going to go back. So, uh, what we also want to do, I am going to just get all of this and just cut it, delete this and just do this and I'm going to paste it paste it over here um, like this and this is going to be our camera's UI ref what? oh this is supposed to be get Play controller, nice. So it should look like this. I'm going to delete this one. It should look exactly like this. And let's try it out. Open the cameras. Cam one, cam three, cam two, cam three. Exit, and we're back. So that is cameras pretty simple uh, if you wanted to add a new camera okay never mind um, um, if we want to add more cameras we would just uh, duplicate the ones we have li like adding camera we would uh, add a new event here add a new event dispatcher here and add a new button to 
to the over here. So we've got basic cameras now. One, two, three. Doors and lights. So we can see the light. And that's gonna be the video. So I'm sorry if this was conf confusing. I wasn't really I was interrupted many times. I still hope you learned something from this and next time we are going to make the animatronic so stay tuned. <laughs>